Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. I welcome you to your moment of breakthrough in Jesus' name. Today we're going to have something double and triple and quadruple and five times in Jesus' name. By the grace of God during this weekend, we lose nothing because of the rain last, the rain last night was a great blessing and one blessing will not hinder another blessing. And so this morning, I welcome you to break through in Jesus' name. You are going to hear some testimonies today that will surprise you and shock you and lift you up and make you soar to the heavens. Something great is coming your way. And you will receive in Jesus' name. You are free. And all bonds and bondages are broken in Jesus' name. Why don't you just tell the Lord what you need and then after that multiply that by two, multiply by three, multiply by four. Something is coming your way. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name for this glorious day. And we're asking, oh Lord, that this day you will open the heavens upon your people in Jesus' name. All bondages broken. All fetters shattered. All prison doors open. All sicknesses healed. All infirmities taken away. And I pray that your mighty power will come down this morning and you will bless your people abundantly in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for what our eyes are seeing, what our ears are hearing. And we pray that everything we hear happening to all the people, great, great supernatural miracles will happen to the rest of us in Jesus' name. Lead us this time now into that moment of breakthrough. And let there be an avalanche, multiplicity of miracles upon everybody here today in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. We're looking at 2 Peter chapter 1. Second Peter chapter 1 and I'm reading from verses 3 and 4 we're talking on the promise of total breakthrough the promise of total breakthrough in 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 according as his divine power has given unto us all things why don't you just mark that in your bible he has given unto you he has given unto us all things all things are possible here today and then it says that pertain unto life and godliness all things pertaining to life all things pertaining to godliness they're given unto you they're given unto us and i pray that you will not miss your blessing in jesus name and then it says, it is through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. He said, number one, if we have this knowledge about Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross of Calvary, and what he provided for us on the cross of Calvary, will come to glory and will come to virtue. And I pray that glorious things will happen in every life. And then it says, whereby are given unto us, exceeding great and precious promises he has given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises by those promises ye might be partakers of the divine nature i will be a partaker i said i will be a partaker you'll be a partaker in jesus name having escaped in the corruption that is in the world through laws everything the devil is doing in the world you are going to escape in jesus name isaiah chapter 55 talking about the promise of total breakthrough you'll break through and all the promises of god of fruitfulness of abundance of miracles of healing of deliverance and of all the desires of your heart they are given unto you already in jesus name Isaiah chapter 55, I'm reading from verse 8. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, 
says and neither are your ways my way says the Lord the Lord says his thoughts are not like your thoughts many times when you have asked for something you have not got it you have a negative thought will I ever get it and God says yes my thoughts are not your thoughts you are going to get what I promised you sometimes you have tried you have tried and you try to run and then you are not able to get to where you are going and you say will I ever get there your thought may be negative but the Lord says he's having something positive towards you this morning and that thought of the Lord concerning you will be fulfilled in Jesus name for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither but watereth the earth and maketh it to bring forth and board then it says that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater it says so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void the word you are hearing this morning the word of power the word of authority and the word that fulfills his purpose in your life it will not return void to the lord in jesus name then it goes on to say in that first element but it shall accomplish the word will accomplish and the word will perform and the word will fulfill and the word will do something in your life in my life in our lives together in jesus name it shall accomplish it shall accomplish the word this morning will accomplish i said the word this morning will accomplish accomplish miracle accomplish power accomplish success accomplish all the desires of our heart because the lord says that is my word and because it is my word it will definitely accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper it shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it the word will prosper in your life and this morning, if you have been missing it before, you are catching it, you are getting it in Jesus' name. I told you we are talking of the promise of total breakthrough. And just understand that this is a divinely prepared moment of breakthrough. A divinely prepared moment of breakthrough. Because this moment is provided for you and prepared for you. You know that if you were the only one here, that body you are brought could be lifted. That sickness you have brought will be lifted. That infirmity on your body will be lifted. And that impossibility in your life. If you were the only one here, God will still work a great miracle. And that means that everyone here this morning, everyone here this morning, I am a candidate for miracle. I am a candidate for healing. I am a candidate for deliverance. I am a candidate for breakthrough in Jesus' name. I will never be the same. I said I will never be the same. You look at it when you when we see you after this session, after this moment of miracle, we'll say, Is that him? Is that not him? You say, Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. But I got something. Yes, it's me. But I got something. It will come your way in Jesus' name. There are three things we're looking at. Number one is the pattern. Number one is the pattern. We know how God works. And when you know how God works and you see a pattern, you know you can follow that pattern. A pattern is a model. A pattern is an example that God himself has said. He said, this is the way I normally act. And this is the pattern I normally follow. And this is the unchangeable principle that I laid down. And if you, if you follow that pattern, you are going to get it. I said you are going to get it. Number one is the pattern. Number two is the prayer. Number two is the prayer. Whenever we come this kind of weekend, the third weekend of every month, as we come together, it should be a time of prayer. And prayer brings us into breakthrough. And the prayer we're going to pray this morning is like you have never prayed. Because every word you utter, God is going to take note of it in heaven in Jesus' name. And you know, if, if 
the, the way you pray, God loves you the way you pray. Some people pray this way, other people pray that way, other people pray that other way. Our faces are different, our heights are different, our needs are different, and God loves you the way you are. Your face is all right the way you are, and the way you pray, God recognizes that, and God respects that, and God loves that, and your prayer will be answered in Jesus' name. Number three is the power. Everybody say the power. The power. Now I'm going to back to number one again. The pattern of breaking down before total breakthrough. The pattern of breaking down before total breakthrough. As we study the word of God and we see the way God works, we can tell that first of all, there's a breaking down, there's a demolishing, there is a devastation, and after that, there's a building up, and I'm going to show you from the word of God how you find that pattern, how there is a breaking down first before the total breakthrough. Number two, is the prayer of breakthrough for tenacious believers, tenacious believers, persistent believers, courageous believers the believers that say i am not giving up this is the way i'm going to walk in it this is my blessing i am going to take my blessing because jesus said from the time of john the baptist until now the kingdom of heaven sovereign violence and the violent tell me take it by force i'm taking something this morning i said i'm taking something this morning the tenacious believer, the courageous believer, the bold believer, the believer that never gives up, and the believer that says that is mine. I'm taking it. You will take it this morning in Jesus' name. Number three, in the power to build up and triumphantly break through. The power to build up and triumphantly breakthrough. Give me number one. The pattern of breaking down before total breakthrough. Let's look at Jeremiah chapter one. Jeremiah chapter one. And I'm reading here from verse 10. Jeremiah chapter one, verse 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdom to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant Do you see the two parts later to build and to plant that's the breakthrough but before that building and planting before that accomplishment and fulfillment and before the racing up and the breakthrough, you find something there. It says to root out. There's something to root out. Every plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in your family will be rooted out in Jesus' name. You see, there are some people, they just say, let us break through, let us plant, let us build. I about all these rubbles that are there. I about all these things which the Heavenly Father has not planted. I about all these that Satan has brought into your life, into your family, into your business, into your career, into your profession. We're going to root them out first. I said we're going to root them out first. All those works of the devil, we're rooting them out. All those plans of the enemy were rooting them out. All those things that the Lord has not ordained in your life, ordained in your family, were rooting them out in Jesus' name. That's why there is a breaking down before you total break down it says, and to pull down, and to pull down. There are some strongholds. You know, there are some people, they say, just pray for me and get me healed. Pray for me. I want to have a miracle. If we pray for you and you have a miracle and there's a strong hole there, we're going to pull down first. If you don't allow us to pull that down, how are you going to have a permanent blessing? Because what we want for you and what the Lord wants for you is that your blessing will be permanent. Your miracle will be permanent. And the power of God coming upon your life will be permanent in Jesus' name. That's why First of all, there is a rooting out, there is a pulling down, and then it says, and to destroy, 
and to destroy and then to throw down after that there is a process of building coming upon your life in jesus name and so the pattern the pattern of breaking down before the total breakthrough i'm looking at matthew chapter 15 matthew chapter 15 and let us see what the lord jesus christ himself has said but he answered and said every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted up every plant which my heavenly father has not planted not just some or many or the majority of those plants but every look at your life today and see something there that you know this cannot be of god this cannot be of god that infirmity that cannot be of god always having disappointment and disappointment this cannot be of god i'm of a marriageable age and there is nothing coming this cannot be of god this is the enemy jesus said an enemy has done this an enemy has done this i'm rooting that out of your life this morning in jesus name epilepsy that cannot be of god brain damage that cannot be of god and then there's no progress you're always hitting the wall that cannot be of god everything the devil planted in your life today is the day of rooting out and this moment this moment is the moment of rooting out and the word of god be coming to you with power over there everything of the devil rooted out in jesus name that you find in jeremiah it says there's a moment of pulling down there's a moment of pulling down there's a moment of pulling down we're going to pull something down away from your life in jesus name look at second corinthians second corinthians chapter 10 in second corinthians chapter 10 it says in verse 5 casting down imagination casting down imagination yeah, there's something to cast down there's something to cast out and all those seeds imaginations of the devil imagination suggestions of the enemy or well, if you want to do something then the imagination will come negative thoughts will come negative pattern of your life will come it's like this cannot happen everybody succeed i'll never succeed i cancel that from your life everybody is making progress i never make progress i cancel that from your life I'm hearing, you know, once the epidemic breaks out, I'm the first person to get it, to catch it. I cancel that from your life in Jesus' name. It says, casting down imaginations and every high sin that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. I'm bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Give me a good amen there. It has happened, it will happen in your life in Jesus' name. And then in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10, you remember it says, and to destroy, and to destroy, and to destroy. I'm looking at first John chapter 3. First John chapter 3. In first John chapter 3, here in verse 8, first John chapter 3, and we're looking at verse 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. I will not be of the devil. I said I will not be of the devil. Devil and the devil and I we have no relationship at all. As the east is far from the west, so is the devil far from the believer in Jesus' name. It says, sin that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, Jesus has a purpose in your life. For this purpose, Jesus has a purpose in your family. For this purpose, Jesus has a purpose for this third weekend of the month. Not only at the headquarters church, all over Nigeria, all over Africa and beyond Africa. Wherever we have deeper life, Jesus has a purpose for this church. And that purpose, you'll be part of that fulfillment of the purpose in Jesus' name. He says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy, that he might destroy, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Look around. Any works of the devil will find there. This is the moment of destroying that thing. 
it says that he might destroy the works of the devil that's, that's what the Lord told Jeremiah said there's something to root out and there's something to throw out to throw down and there's something to pull down and there is something to destroy it is after that destruction then you are going to find there is a building up there's a building up a building up will start in your life in Jesus name and then as we pull down those things that need to be pulled down and then we throw down those things that need to be thrown down and we pull and we and we destroy the things that need to be destroyed you yourself you have a part to play Hosea chapter 10 Hosea chapter 10 and I'm reading here from verse 12 Hosea chapter 10 verse 12 so to yourself in righteousness and reap in mercy break up your fallow ground break up your fallow ground what does that mean you know when the farmer is going to plant he wants to find out when he's plowing he breaks up the fallow ground the hardened ground if there's anything there that will not allow the crop to grow he, he, he digs up everything and then he rakes them away and your personal life you're looking at your life you're saying now i am a candidate for breakthrough i said i am a candidate for breakthrough say it for yourself i'm a candidate for breakthrough and then you now begin to dig you look at that this one will not hinder me i throw you out in jesus name my attitude if i have a negative attitude, this one will not hinder me i'm in the moment of miracle i throw that away in jesus name my utterances what i say about myself you know some people when they talk they're almost cursing themselves they almost cut themselves that it didn't do well i don't think i will ever do well cancel that in jesus name our people told me that this is happening in our family it happened your great grandfather it happened to your grandfather it happened to your father and you're also told in the same line it's going to happen to you cancel that in jesus name dig out your life and dig out all those things and you as you dig them out then you don't want to sow into thorns you want to sow in righteousness and reap in mercy and break up your final ground for it is time to seek the lord until he comes and he rains righteousness upon us a rain of miracle is coming your way point number two now is a prayer of breakthrough for tenacious believers tenacious believers tenacious believers that is the people that never gave up the people that never give up the people that never do what never give up look at this genesis chapter 32 genesis chapter 32 i'm reading from verse 24 genesis 32 and we're looking at verse 24 it says in verse 24 and jacob was led alone jacob was led alone jacob was led alone you know there are times even when you are in a large congregation like this you are left alone and you say i want to think about my life from the time i was born until this time what progress have i made if things continue like in the past until another five years 10 years 20 years where will i be i'm left alone i was born again a few years ago and then all those few years see where i am now if things continue like this where will i be in another five ten years i began this project about 10 years ago and now if things continue this way another 10 years where will i be you are left alone think about it and while you are there now begin to think and say this will be a moment of turning around in my life you are going to walk faster you are going to go higher and you are going to develop in a faster way to go further in Jesus' name. You are saying the speed of life, the pace of life from the time I was born until this time has been too slow. I want to double up. I want to triple my, my speed and you are going to do it in Jesus' name. There is a moment when you are left alone to think about your life and think about your future and think about your destiny and think about your possession and think about the promises of God for you and Jacob was left alone and there he wrestled with a man a man within until the breaking of the day 
wrestled with him until the breaking of the day and the wrestling what you are talking about and you know sometimes people might not know that you are wrestling but in your mind you are thinking you are struggling in your mind you are saying i want to get there and i know i should get there and i know i should achieve and i know i should do this but as a wrestling can i give up this can i acquire that can i bring some good qualities in my life am i willing to pay the price that's the time of wrestling you are wrestling and then you are saying this will not disturb me that will not hinder me that will not stop me i am going to the top this top you are going to get there in jesus name and when he saw that he prevailed not against him he taught the hollow of his tie and the hollow of jacob's tie was out of joint as he wrestled with him well the physical act to be changed so that supernatural will have to come in something has to give way something has to give way so that you'll be able to have this blessing of heaven and this breakthrough from heaven and whatever will give way will give way i say whatever will give way will give way because this moment of turning around you will not miss it in your life in jesus name come out of the park come out of the crowd come out of the people the mediocres and the you know ordinary people and the you know run of the meal people this is you know you're like in a herd with a cattle and then you single yourself out to say i'm not in that group anymore i'm not in that company anymore i'm not in that part anymore i'm going to make a distinction of the rest of my life and you are going to be different in jesus name you'll be a different father you be a different mother. You be a, a different Christian, a Christian uh, worker. You be a Christian leader that is distinct, that is different from the very past. In Jesus' name, the power in your life will more than double. The purpose of your life will be very clear and very bright. In Jesus' name, this moment of miracle is for you, and you are going to have that breakthrough. In Jesus' name. And then he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go. I will not. Remember, Jacob, a human being, was talking to an angel. Jacob, a human being on earth, was, he was talking to somebody that came from heaven. The one from heaven said, let me go. I want to go back. He said, go where? This is the moment of my breakthrough. It is not tomorrow. My blessing will not be delayed. My healing will not be delayed. My deliverance will not be delayed. My progress will not be delayed. That miracle of turning around transformation I've been looking for. This is the day and this is my moment. There is nothing. I'm not going to release you. I will not let you go except you bless me. I will not let you go except you bless me. Tenacious people tenacious people they made up their minds those are the people that the kingdom of god all the blessings of the kingdom they suffer violence and the violent take it by force jacob said i will take my blessing before i go mark this day down mark this day down this day you will take your blessing before you go in jesus name yes i know that another month is coming another month will be for you an addition another month will be for you a multiplication but the basic miracle the power that was that rolls away your sickness how can you come at the moment of miracle and go away with blindness it will not happen and go away with bad luck it will not happen and all those things your life that the devil has been using to tie you down tie you down all these many years this day i break that shackle and that chain of the devil in your life in jesus name Weakness, where is the weakness? Infirmity, where is infirmity? Bad luck, where is bad luck? Crying and crying all these many years, and then you know, trying and trying, and then you cannot get up, get up and rise and walk in Jesus' name. And so Jacob said, I will not let you go except you bless me. And then he said, What is thy name? We want to know who has the miracle. What is the name for the miracle today? 
What is the name for the miracle today? What's the, the name for the success today? Heaven is sending success. Why is he sending that success? So what's your name? Breakthrough is coming. What is your name? And you, you know, success is coming. What is your name? And it is telling, promotion is coming. What is your name? We want to know the name to send the miracle to. We want to know the name to send the breakthrough to. We want to know the name. We're sending this power and of the Almighty God to. I say, what is your name? It will come to that address. I said, it will come to that address. And he said, my name is Jacob. You know, many years before, Isaac said, what is your name? And Jacob said, my name is what? He, he gave a wrong address. I pray that your blessing will not go to a wrong address. And when your blessing is coming from heaven, miracle coming from heaven, breakthrough coming from heaven, your real address where you I see you there, I see you there, I see you there, I see you there. Your real address, it is coming in Jesus' name. And then look at this in verse, look at this in verse 28. It says, that He said, Thy name shall be no more called Jacob, but Israel. Israel is a polished name. Israel is a refined name. Israel is a better name. A better name is coming. A better title is coming. A better provision is coming. What you used to be, where you used to be, how you used to look, you are not like that anymore in Jesus' name. Heaven calls you by a new name. God calls you by a new name. The Holy Ghost calls you by a new name. You are new. Your heart is new. Your mind is new. Your spirit is new. Your vision is new. Your brain is new. Your name, everything about you, your nature is new. And your future, your future, your future is new in Jesus' name. And then it says, for as a priest thou has power with God and with men. As a priest thou has power with God and with men. After this moment of breakthrough, anybody you get to you have power with men and then when you stand in the presence of god you have power with god in jesus name you know it takes this tenacity it takes this holding on and saying i'm going to take what belongs to me it took a name and some time to understand that because the man of god said go dip yourself in jordan seven times why seven just to show that you need to be tenacious he went the first time and the second time and the third time he said i don't see any chain name and keep on going for time and free time i don't see any chain is for the tenacious believer name and keep on going number six and then number seven everything became new i said number seven everything became new when you hear the prayer, we pray and we pray and we pray and we pray, and then the final amen comes. That's my that's my moment. I said the final amen comes. That's my moment. And today, watch it. Today, watch it. Today, watch it. When one will say, stand up and begin to pray, and you pray there, and I pray here, and then we pray here. There's an amen in that corner, amen at that back there, amen in the front, and then the final thing comes final, and then we say in the name of Jesus, and everybody said, amen. That is the moment. That is the moment. That is the moment. And if any, any chain that bound you before, you just get loose and you get up, you're free. I said you're free. You're free indeed in Jesus' name. The children of Israel, they were to, all the Jericho walls were to come down before them. And then the first day they went around, they said, Joshua, nothing is moving. The foundation is not giving way. Go again. And the second day they went again. And then they said, the foundation is still there. And the third day, and the fourth day, and the fifth day, and the sixth day. And then on the seventh day, they went around seven times. And then at the end of that seven times, the moment of breakthrough. I said, the moment of breakthrough. And then they gave a shout, and as they gave that shout, it was a final shout and a final amen. All the walls came down. I see the walls around your body. I see the walls around your life, and it is coming down. You know, it, it, it's so high. 
and it's so sick and it's so deep every time you want it it's like they confine you there they confine you there you say there's something beyond this wall there's something beyond this confinement there's something beyond this limitation and i want to go to the other side and i prayed and i prayed and i prayed and then nothing is changing when you hear the final amen this day the moment of miracle all those walls will come down in jesus name it was the Almighty God Himself that told Elijah, He said, Go oh, oh, reveal yourself to Ahab because I'm going to send an abundance of rain. And then eventually, you know what Elijah did? He called the people. He said, How halt you between two opinions? Why are you delaying, darling? Why are you delaying as if you don't know the moment has come? Three and a half years of famine is coming to an end today. I said, Three and a half years of famine is coming to the end today. And then eventually he repaired the altar of the Lord. He had just said everything and then he prayed. And when he prayed, fire came down. The fire of revival has come down already. But we're still waiting for the rain. We're still waiting for the rain. And then eventually he said, Ahab, get ready. It is coming. And I come to tell you, get ready. It is coming. I'm telling you, get ready. It is coming. I'm telling you over here, get ready. And it is coming. I'm telling you here, get ready. It is coming. It is coming. It is coming. It will come in Jesus' name. And then, and then Elijah now, he went to pray. And he told the servant, go and look. And the servant said, I see nothing. He said, go the second time. I see nothing. Go the third time. I see nothing. I'm telling you, it is for the tenacious. It's for the people that say, I will not leave. I will not leave. I will not stop until I hear that final amen. I will not stop. And when that final amen comes, I can tell you I'm getting something today. I said I'm getting something today. And then he said on the final thing, it was the seventh time he said, I see the cloud like the hand of a man. He said, go tell Ahab it has come. Go tell Ahab it has come. The moment has arrived. And when it came and then rain, showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. It will come on you. I said it will come on you. You will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Number three, number three is the power. The power to build up and triumphantly break through. Do you know that this life of yours, praise God you are here today. Praise God you are here today. This life will be built up. Everything that will be broken down in this life, this life I'm looking at sitting down, standing up there, your life will be built up in Jesus' name. All the intentions of the devil, all the imaginations of the devil, all the insinuations of the devil, all the secret plans of the devil, everything comes to an end today in Jesus' name. The power, the power, the power to build up and the power to have triumphant breakthrough. I'm looking at Isaiah chapter 40, Isaiah chapter 40, and I'm reading from verse 28. The power, the power, and this is for you. I said, this is for you. Isaiah chapter 40, I'm reading from verse 28. It says, as thou not known, if you have not known, you will know today. As thou not heard, if you have not heard, you'll hear it today. That the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the heavens and the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching to his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. Don't get tired. He giveth power to the faint. Don't fall down. He giveth power to the faint. Don't get discouraged. He giveth power to the no, Don't give up. Don't give up. Never be sad or despondent because you have faith to believe. Just keep on trusting. Keep on trusting and see when your trials are the greatest because all these Egyptians you see in your life today, you will see them no more in Jesus' name. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases strength. He will increase your strength. Even the youth shall fade and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, but they that wait upon the Lord, who are the people that wait upon the Lord? Of course you are. Of course you are. See, you came in from last night, and see all that rain that came last night, and I was watching you. And then, you know, some of the yours, you moved that share a little more, but you stayed there and stayed there, waiting upon the Lord. Your waiting will not be in vain. Your perseverance will not be in vain. 
and you waited until this moment I came this morning and you know many of you already you were seated you were expecting the expectation of the righteous will not be cut short in Jesus name and that's what the moment the moment of big moment of power and moment moment of deliverance moment of healing moment of a breakthrough it has come in Jesus name for they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength your strength is renewed in Jesus name they shall mount up with wings as eagles and they shall run they shall not be weary they shall run and they shall not be weary and they shall walk and they shall not fade power has come power over sickness it has come power over satan it has come power over sin it has come power over self it has come power for success power for success anybody dreaming of success there anybody planning for success there you know this success it is coming i said it is coming the only news i have for you the only news i have for you is that the success you are thinking of god said that's too small for a creature of mine i'm going to add to it double and triple it will come upon your life in jesus name you were thinking you were thinking of only about 90 meters and god said i about 200 meters you are thinking about only 100 meters and god said i about a thousand meters it will double it in jesus name power for success and power for signs and wonders power for signs and wonders in your locality where you come from signs and wonders in your local church where you come from signs and wonders and here this morning and this morning at this moment of miracles signs and wonders signs and wonders i see signs and wonders over there 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 i'm looking at okay i see signs and wonders over there rise up rise up rise up rise up and catch it rise up and catch it rise up and catch it rise power for the supernatural power for the supernatural is coming your way it's coming your way this is the moment this is the moment the moment of deliverance the moment of healing the moment of miracle the moment of breakthrough the moment of success the moment of signs and wonders the moment of the possibility becoming possible the lord is going to give you a kind of success you never dreamt of a kind of success you never imagine is coming your way it's coming your way it's coming your way it's coming your way it's a moment of your miracle 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 it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming get ready get ready it's the moment when you hear that final amen is there you hear that final amen is there you hear that final amen it's there this is the moment this is the moment this is the moment name it and claim it whatever it is name it and claim it whatever it is because this is the time of the kingdom of god it's sovereign violence and the violent take it by force it is yours you will never be the same again you're not sick anymore you're not oppressed anymore you're not tied down anymore it's the moment of miracle it's the moment of power it's the moment it's the moment of breakthrough this is your moment and this is your time this is your moment and this is your time your miracle is here already the power is here already the anointing is here already if you are blind your eyes are going to get open if you are lame you are going to rise up and walk if you have any brain damage or any brain disease you are going to get to it is the moment it is the moment it is the moment of your breakthrough it is the moment of your breath is coming it's coming it's coming it's coming the moment of miracle the moment of miracle the moment of your miracle it's coming your way it's coming your way it's coming your way it's, this is yours this is yours the power that never fails the people that never fail the prayer that never fails the promise that never fails is coming your way it is yours it is yours it is yours power 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 coming upon your life power coming upon your life power coming upon your life 
the authority is here, the anointing is here already. The anointing is here already. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It is coming, it's coming your way. This is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment. You will not miss it. You will not miss it. You will not miss it. Your moment of miracle. Your moment of deliverance. Your moment of healing. Your moment of a breakthrough. Praise the Lord. It is your day. Praise the Lord. It is your day. Praise the Lord. It is your day. Blind eyes opening. This is the day. The lame rising up and walking. This is the day. Short leg growing out. This is your day. The deaf hearing. This is the day. The dumb speaking. This is the day. Brain damage, epilepsy going away. This is the day. HIV is going and vanishing. This is the day. Oppression, attack, affliction going away from your life. This is the day. It is the day. It is the day. It is the day. All that swelling departing from your body. This is the day. Bad luck living your life. This is the day. All those Jericho walls pulled down. This is the day. Bad luck gone is the day. It's the day. It's the day. It's the day. It's the day. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. When you hear that final amen, it is done. You hear that final amen, it is done. You hear that final amen, it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. It's coming near, it's coming near, it's coming near. That moment, that moment is coming. And when you hear that final amen, if you are blind before, just open your eyes. Because that moment of final amen brings a miracle upon your life. If you were lame and you could not walk before, once you hear that final amen, you get up, the miracle is there. If you brought anybody blind or deaf or dumb and that final amen comes, you test them, that miracle will be there. And then, of course, all the confinement and the imprisonment of your life, that the devil, they put all this and also that you will not rise up, so that you will not move forward. Once you hear the final amen, go out today and go and succeed in Jesus' name. Are we ready? Are you ready for your moment? Are you ready for your moment? Raise up your hand. And if you have any sickness, any swelling there, any blindness there, any, any bad leg there, any short leg, any short arm there, or whatever it is, just lay your hand on it. And then if you brought anybody having any problem, you brought them for this particular purpose, lay your hand on them. The moment has come. I said your moment has come. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Our own Father, our Heavenly Father. Father, in the name of Jesus. I come to you at this time and I pray every plant that has not been planted in any brother's life, any sister's life, any plant that has not been planted by you, I root everything out in Jesus' name. All the strongholds of the enemy, all the strongholds of the devil, I come against you right now. I pull you down in Jesus' name. Any hindrance in the way of anyone here. Hindrance in business. Hindrance in childbearing. Hindrance in getting married. Hindrance in any area. All those hindrances are some cause of the devil. At this very moment now, I pull you down in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray all the works of the devil. All the works of the devil visible and invisible tangible and intangible all those works of the devil i come against with the anointing upon my life i destroy you now i destroy you now i destroy you in jesus name and lord right now i release your blessing upon your people 
I release your miracle upon your people. I release your healing upon your people. I release deliverance upon your people. I release success upon your people. I release breakthrough. 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 Upon everyone in Jesus' name. The swelling in the head, what I had there, I command that what I had become normal in Jesus' name. The swelling of Ania, the swelling of uh, Hunchback, I command you, melt out in Jesus' name. All the noise of the enemy coming in your ears to disobey and harass your life. All the strange noise in your ears, I command, come out in Jesus' name. The deafness and the dumbness, I command, dumb spirit, come out. Their spirit come out and I, be, I pray that your tongue will be loose begin to hear begin to speak in jesus name anyone that is blind over there i command right now the sight from heaven to come right now and i command the blindness in your eyes vanish away in jesus name blind people blind people blind man blind woman blind child open your eyes in the name of jesus i command you begin to see in jesus name oh lord i pray for those who have terminal disease like cancer like tuberculosis like hiv aids i come against those uh, diseases in your life right now and i command you be healed in jesus name I destroy all those sicknesses from the very root. And I command all the foundations of terminal disease in anybody's life, hearing my voice now, I destroy it in Jesus' name. Barrenness, barrenness, I destroy you. Any family here already I pronounced it for you last month, and I say it once again, come with your miracle baby next year in Jesus' name. I release you, I release you into fruitfulness. I release you into childbearing. I release you, receive your miracle babies in Jesus' name. And those who are in your marriageable age, you have not married, all the hindrances I take out the way of the way. All the curse of the enemy, I take it out of the way. Lord, I release them into good marriages and families in Jesus' name. And prosperity 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 oh lord i pray bless the work of their hands in jesus name raise up those and raise up those and raise up those and i anoint those hands what you touch will turn to a blessing what you do will turn to a blessing oh lord bless the work of their hands in jesus name now everywhere now everywhere now everywhere the moment of breakthrough the moment of miracle the moment of power, the moment of healing, the moment of deliverance, accomplish it in every life in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, because I know you have done it. I thank you because I know you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. It's a moment. That is a moment. That is a moment. That is a moment. You've got it in Jesus' name. You've got it in Jesus' name. You've got it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now you check up yourself. Praise the Lord, it's there. Praise the Lord, it's there. Praise the Lord, it's there. If you were blind before, just open your eyes. Now you can see. Praise the Lord, I see. If you were lame before, just get up now. You are well. Everything is all right. One leg shorter than it's grown out already. One hand was withered. Everything is all right. If you brought anybody that could not hear, tell them they can now hear. Anybody who couldn't speak, tell them they can now speak. And something walking about in the belly, in the body, everything is now gone. And then something dropping somebody's brain there. Now you are all right because we've had the final moment and the final moment has come and it is yours. So as we check up, see what the Lord has done. Let me hear the shout of hallelujah. Praise the Lord over there because of God's miracle power upon your life.
either sapo, either sapo. Mary Queen, or one, or two, or three, or four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight outside. Either sapo. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. Come to the front. Come to the front. Come to the front. Come to the front. Check up yourself. Check. The blind, your eyes is open. The lame, you are walking already. Check up any ailment, any sickness in your body. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. And as you receive the miracle, shout hallelujah. And please come to the front. We are expecting you. We are expecting you. It has happened in all four, in all five, in all four. Come to the front. Come to the front. Come to the front. Come to the front. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. It has happened. The miracle is there already. The miracle is there already. Check it up. Check it up. Shout hallelujah when you receive the miracle. It's yours already. It's yours already. It's yours already. It's yours already. The miracle is yours already in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In all one, I see you coming. I see you coming.